Rona. Thank you for coffee yesterday. Sorry I was called away. It's fine. You obviously had somewhere far more important to be. Something urgent came up and uh, Ken needed me for the press launch. Really? You don't need to explain? If you're free now, um, maybe we could do something. Such as? Lunch in Honor. There's a <laughs> new Thai restaurant I'd like to try. According to Kim, it's very nice. Oh, well, if it's got the Kim Tate seal of approval, then... Sorry, I just meant... Do you know what? It sounds lovely. <laughs> I'm not working today. I just need to be back in time to pick up Leo from school. Uh, hey, you coming to this meeting? What meeting? Kim wants to debrief on the new disabled access plans. Al's just text. They're in the cafe now. Off you trot. Mustn't keep her ladyship waiting, eh? This is Al's doing. If it means keeping her in check, then yes, I ought to be there. They take it lunch is cancelled, then? Not at all. Shouldn't take too long. I'll meet you back here in half an hour. I revise the costings. We revise the costings. It will affect profits in the short but term. But building then... a reputation for being fully inclusive will increase revenue down the line. A reputation we almost destroyed yesterday. Not all problems disappear by throwing money at them. It pays to engage the brain as well. Not to mention the ego. Well, let's thrash out these figures, shall we? No. How long will it take? That depends how much unnecessary expenditure we're trying to claw back. Feel free to leave. I mean, construction costs isn't really your forte after all. My forte is protecting Kim's interests, and that's not a role I'll be relinquishing any time soon. I'll be the judge of that, not you. These extra costs could run into tens of thousands. I'd hardly call that protecting my interests, would you? It's about time we've started making some money off this. I need to look at those first. Well, I've got the papers here. Why don't we discuss it over lunch? I'm sorry, that's not convenient. Well, it's convenient for me. Just two of us, then. Sounds perfect. Be sure to relay anything of interest. Been dismissed, have we? Sorry, things went on longer than I thought they would. Did you need to be there? I mean, you don't even have a stake in this outdoor pursuit centre. No, but I still do have an interest. In making sure that Al doesn't knock you off your top spot with Kim. It's my job to safeguard Kim's investments. <laughs> Come on, Graham. We both know this is about more than just business. Kim has a hold over you, and where I figure is anyone's guess. You're important to me too. So important that you arrange to take me for lunch and then practically stand me up. I'm here now. Till your phone rings and you get summoned again. I like you, Graham. And I have really enjoyed our little flirtation. But if Kim is your priority, then I think we should just leave things here, rather than pretending we might actually develop feelings for one another. I do have feelings for you. Then maybe you need to decide which one of us comes first. as much. Let's just forget lunch. In fact, let's just forget this. So, what have I missed? Builders sorted? A couple of days, mm. best we could do. Till then, we got Ellis. Oh. Are you, um, sure he's qualified? Well, he knows what hard work means. He grafts, instead of swanning around like the third Cray twin. Well, he's not grafting now. I came via the site and nobody's up there. Well, I'm sure he's on a well and break. I told him you might drop by later. Stick your penny on and make a proper working man Asani or something. How does this actually end? With you two literally outside, seeing who can pee the furthest? Go over and check on him, now. All right. Please, if it's any consolation, I feel terrible. Why would that be a consolation? That wasn't the object for you to feel bad. Well, I do, anyway. It was nothing personal, it was just work. No, 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 don't, don't. <laughs> Make out like I was being unreasonable. That's even more annoying than being stood up. We are both old enough to know what we want. I want another chance. Yes, yes, and I want to know that whoever I get involved with doesn't have complicated relationships with other women. Sorry, 007. Not interested in competing.
Looks like he dropped his tools in a hurry and um, hasn't been back since. Is this the most pressing concern right now? I mean, is it crucial to the operation? Somebody promises something they should deliver. I think you're jealous. Of Ellis? No, his dad, obviously. His uh, strong, confident, handsome dad. What happens when I get tired of your games? You've got endless patience. Nobody's got endless patience. Not with you, not with anyone. Oh, don't be like that. Graham. I was joking. You know me. Can't help myself. Then try harder. Hmm. Harder than this. Al's another chance. I don't care about Al. He's fleeting. Nobody needs him. He's not like you and me. Rough Marlin. Mm. Yeah, it's just a bit sticky up here. Anything else? <laughs> Sorry. I, um, it's just you're usually very whoo, sleek, you know. Not that I pay much attention to you. Ah, oh, come on, two lads just bantering, aren't we? Just, I shouldn't have hit you then. Do you want a bag? <clears throat> Good afternoon. From the top. Oh, Leo! Hi, Leo. It's okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, cheers. Where did you learn how to do that? Oh, it's quite simple, really. Just got to make sure you've got a firm foundation and then you build up from there. So, you were talking about that, were you? Sorry. <clears throat> do what? Fine. It was uh, useful to me once. Of course, that's how it's going to be. Come on, let's go. David, I am really sorry about the mess. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on. Rona, wait. My brother. OK, you have a brother. I had a brother, Stephen. I don't normally talk about this. He had Down syndrome. Oh, OK. Sorry if I've made you feel uncomfortable. No, no, you haven't. Oh, great. Refreshments. Pull up a chair. Actually, not for me. I'm, uh, not staying. You need to eat. Keep your energy up. There's someone I need to see. Who? Oh, hi. Hi. How's he doing? Why don't you ask him? How are you doing? Hmm? Enjoy all this man of mystery stuff, eh? Sorry if I was um, strange in the shop. I didn't really notice that you were much different. It's just something I don't really talk about. Yeah, sorry. Just ignore me. I was being a bit nosy. You're raising a very clever, unique little boy, and I know how hard that can be. Yeah, well, I could tear my hair out some days, like most mums, but it's rewarding and wonderful. That's how I remember life with Stephen. Have you finished? Come on, then. Let's go get your bag ready. You're going to be with Daddy in a minute. Um, just make yourself at home. I'll be back in a sec. Come on. Insisting on packing his own stuff. I tell you, fiercely independent. <laughs> Stephen was the same, even when his health wouldn't always allow it. Right. He had problems with his heart. Yeah, children with Down syndrome are susceptible. He'd always struggled with his breathing. It didn't stop him constantly badgering me to play football. Huh? <sighs> Sounds familiar. Mum had panicked when he started wheezing. So, uh, I'd pretend to be really unfit and he'd stop and wait for me. It was a force of nature. You two were really close. Mm. 
He was three years younger, but it was me who depended on him. Broke us all when we lost him. He was only 15. That's awful. Hey, you ready? Look at you. Like you've been dragged to a hedge. Yeah. I think it's best I No, why don't you hang on? We are not going to be long. We haven't even had a cup of tea yet, have we? So, um, cups are over there, milk's in the fridge, I'll have a tea, no sugar, tiny bit of milk. Bossy mummy. <laughs> right, come on, let's go see Daddy, yeah? Tiny bit of milk. <laughs> Sorry if I upset you about my brother. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, well, look, it's just difficult being reminded of the realities, you know? Makes me want to hold on to Leo really tight and never let him go. <clears throat> Sorry. Please just say if I'm keeping you from something. You're not. Or someone. <laughs> Come on, Graham. We've kind of been here before, haven't we? I know Kim. Probably the only person who's seen her human side and I will not be used as something to get at her with. I'd never do that. Never? Rona, you know I've got feelings for you, and if you want this to work properly, why? Then I want nothing more. <laughs>